Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Lisa here with your weekly update on all the things that have been happening in the world of Live Love Animal Rescue. So I'm gonna jump right in, um, starting with intakes. So we are still technically closed for intake. However, we do have one intake for this week and that is Sammy. Sammy is a little five pound Yorkie mix. Um, he's a senior and he needs quite a bit of help in the medical department. So we are looking to fundraise for his care. So if you're interested in supporting, um, there's lots of ways you can do that. We have donations on our website, Venmo, PayPal. You can make us your Amazon Smile charity. Um, and we have tons of other options on our website for ways that you can get involved. So please consider supporting us. Um, that's the one of the main ways that we're able to continue to do what we do. Adoptions for this week, unfortunately none. Our adoptions have really slowed down, so I would encourage you to please share our dogs, um, long stay dogs, newer dogs, we all, um, they all need homes. And so um, please take a look at our website for all of our available dogs. And if you know somebody who's in the market, please share. Um, we do a lot to support our adopters in terms of um, behavioral support, training, things like that. Um, so hopefully we can find a good match for all these dogs that have been here for a little while. But on the bright side, we have had some foster to adopt start this week. Um, our fruit bat Betty litter has begun to go to their foster to adopt homes. So that's fruit bat Betty herself has actually started her foster to adopt as well as plum, pomegranate, and banana. Um, Blueberry was also on foster to adopt, but he was returned. So now we're working through our waitlist applications to see if we can find him a suitable match. All right, medical is our really big um, focus for this week. So we've got a lot of forever foster updates for you. So Scout um, was back at the vet this week because he wasn't eating or drinking. He was having problems with his balance, heavy breathing, pacing, just a lot of really concerning behaviors. So what we noticed was um, after we took him in, the vet told us his kidney values were elevated and he was hospitalized for a couple of days at primary care Bixby. Um, he is home now with fluids, pain meds, anti-nausea meds, and we're hoping that we can get him back on track um, with his appetite and everything else. So please keep him in your thoughts. Um, Lala as well um, went to the internist for lots of tests to try and figure out why the insulin plan that we have to manage her diabetes is not really as effective as it was in the past. Um, luckily her x-rays looked clear and we're still waiting on some more of those test results from the internist. So um, we should be able to share some of that with you next week. Thank you so much for everyone who donated to Lala's care. Um, we posted her invoice um, a couple days ago, so please take a look at that and um, consider helping us to cover those costs for our forever fosters who are our really special cases that we're caring for for the rest of their lives. Another forever foster, Muñeca, um, so she was having some bleeding in her mouth. We took her in to get checked out. Um, her teeth are in really bad shape, but we were kind of hoping to avoid having to do a dental procedure on her just because she's got a heart murmur and that kind of makes the um, anesthesia a little bit trickier to do. Um, so we're gonna be monitoring her very closely and she is on pain medication and we're gonna do whatever the vets recommend to us to do to make sure that she's getting the highest quality of care possible. Um, other medical news, Annika was spayed, vaccinated, and microchipped, so now she is ready for her forever home. Um, her puppies got their second round of vaccines, and so did the fruit bat Betty litter of puppies. So they are all in the process of getting matched with their foster to adopt families. Um, one dog that we haven't talked a lot about lately is lasagna. Now lasagna we've had on rabies quarantine um, because he was bitten by a coyote about six months ago and the public health department requires a six month quarantine period for dogs that are bitten um, by a coyote. So Downey Animal Care partnered with us and they allowed us to place him in a foster home to ride out the rest of his quarantine time. Um, it's finally up and I'm sure he's going to be really excited to find his forever family. So if you're interested, um, we're gonna be listing him for adoption very soon. More Forever Foster news. Um, forever Foster Faith went in for her annual vaccines and anal gland expression. And Judah and Bailey also had anal gland expressions as well. So fun times. All right, that was a lot of medical. So um, training, just to remind you, our buddy Wilson is in training. He's here with me 
and doing fantastic. We're just about finished up with his two week stint here. And um, just to give you kind of a sense for what we're looking for, for Wilson's forever home, um, he can interact with other dogs nicely. So he could have other dogs in the home. Um, kids are probably okay. We just need to make sure that the uh, adults in the situation are ready to provide the exercise structure and boundaries that he needs. Um, because sometimes he can be a little bit pushy and see if he can get away with things kind of like your typical teenager might. Um, but he is really responsive once you set the rules and boundaries for him. So I'm excited to see Wilson um, get a forever family and I would be happy to provide lots of information as well as training support for his forever family. So please reach out if you think that might be you. All right, so those are the highlights for this week. This is a little bit of a shorter video, but just to remind you, um, you are a rescuer too. Thank you so much for your support and um, reach out if there's any way that you would like to get involved. We always need virtual volunteers. We um, love to have donations so that we can continue to provide the highest quality of care medically medically and behaviorally for all the dogs that we have in rescue, as well as covering all their basic needs. Um, we are still looking for fosters for large breed dogs with some behavioral challenges. That allows some of our current fosters to take a break if they need to go out of town, and hopefully will allow us to reopen intake within the next month or two. Um, we would really love to be able to continue rescuing dogs, but right now it is very challenging due to foster capacity. So um, please share, and I hope that we can reopen intake soon. Thank you so much. Have a great week.